going to go have a few words with uh, Dennis while he's out there and before he goes. And now he's going to show how Earl is showing Tony what a balk is. He's saying he stepped off the rubber. Do, 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 cover, oh, do, 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 cover. The Baltimore Orioles. Don't go to the World Series without us. Yeah, he is. You just threw us here just to f us. Ah, yeah. Boom. Well, you're going to be in all the time. Why? You the f World Series. You know it. They must have made over a million calls while I was managing. And except for those 92 times I disagreed, they got the other ones right. You hit me. So do it again and I'll knock you right in your nose. I didn't touch you. You pushed your I did not. Your now you're lying. You're lying. No, you are. You are lying. You're a big liar. You, you are a liar, Earl. You are a liar. You are. You are bearing witness to one of the most remarkable scenes maybe that you will ever see in sport. Yes, the fans have stayed. They have stayed to cheer and to honor the retiring manager of the Birds of Baltimore, a man who in 15 years has become an absolute legend. The defeat will hurt. There's Harvey Keen over to congratulate him. And Earl Weaver is crying, and you can understand it. Very rarely has there been a scene like this, if ever. These people of this city, a city that has become a beautiful city under a brilliant mayor, with an inner harbor equivalent of Boston. And that's Edward Bennett Williams, the owner, the great criminal attorney. And there they are standing and chanting, all of them in unison. And the sign says it all. Goodbye, Earl, and you deserve it. You've been one of the greatest managers in the history of the game.